Good evening from London. The UK's blue chip index boasted strong gains in early trading and the British pound was showing signs of a recovery from its recent weakness. Elsewhere, the Office for National Statistics revealed that the UK's unemployment rate dropped to 3.7 per cent in the first three months of the year, below economists' forecast and its lowest since 1974. There are now more job vacancies than unemployed workers for the first time on record. Elon Musk has threatened to pull out of his $44 billion takeover of Twitter unless the social network can prove claims that only one in 20 accounts are fake. The billionaire Tesla boss has been embroiled in a long-running spat with Twitter bosses over bot accounts on the platform, and he believes the figures are higher than Twitter indicates. Musk says the takeover is on hold until Twitter's CEO shows proof that spam accounts only make up 5% of users. Unemployment in France has dropped in the first three months of this year to its lowest level in 14 years. According to the country's statistics agency, the rate slipped from 7.4 to 7.3 per cent. The marginal improvement is expected to boost President Emmanuel Macron's preparations ahead of next month's legislative elections. In April, Macron was re-elected for a second five-year term. The state-run insurer Life Insurance Corporation of India, or LIC, dropped by 5% in its Mumbai trading debut amid weak investor sentiment due to recent market volatility. The float, which was priced at $2.7 billion, was the country's largest ever initial public offering. LIC's trading debut was eagerly anticipated following the government's sell of a 3.5% stake. The listing is part of a broader plan to sell off state assets to bolster national finances. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.